Mr. Hargrave here doing a giant kit reveal for all of the new Sinister Six. A Sinister 10, really. There's like, you know, the whole new team, uh, five new, uh, four new characters, and six new reworks. This is massive. We're going to go through all of the kits and uh, stop what you're doing right now for Dark Dimension 6. I'm just throwing spoilers as we go through these characters. Um, these tags are great for Dark Dimension 6. A lot of interesting stuff in this video, so make sure you stay tuned. But first, a word from our sponsor. I want to give you $15. That's right, me, the Mr. Hartgrave channel, and Scarlet Spider Comics want to give you $15. All you need to do to collect that is use the link down below and it's going to get you a $15 whatnot credit. Doing this is going to help support the channel and Scarlet Spider Comics, so make sure you do it today. You get a free $15 for signing up, and you can buy literally anything on Whatnot. So use this QR code and the link down below today. For every phone number in your house, you can get an additional $15. So even if you've done this in the past, do it again. You can get cool comic books. You guys, you nerds like comic books, right? You can get old comic books. We all love old comic books, old Ghost Rider comic books. These are all from Scarlet Spider Comics, by the way. They sent me a big box a while ago. They know that I like Ghost Rider. So that's what's really cool about buying, doing these online auctions on whatnot is the sellers can get to know you and they can find out, oh, you like Dracula comic books with Spider-Man? Well, let's go ahead and we'll scour the comic book shops for you and then send them to your house. Weird comics like Fish Police. That's right. They got it all on whatnot. Make sure that one once you use your $15 credit, you share your purchase with Scarlet Spider Comics. The link to their Instagram will be down below and they'll be sending out free special gifts to select random people who share what they get with their credit. Make sure you go use the QR code, use the link down below today. Uh, get yourself a free $15 and help support the channel and Scarlet Spider Comics and keep digging. If you haven't picked up the $15 credit, use the link down below and do that. And if you have, picked up the $15 credit, make sure you use the $15 credit. I'm going to put another link down below where you can go use your $15 credit right now with Scarlet Spider Comics on this page. Uh, it's just over there to the left. You can't quite see it, or maybe it shows up better on the phone, but there's a Grave Digger grab bag. You get two random comics wrapped for Hall Halloween. There's 50 available. They're $5 a piece, so you can buy three of them. You can buy it thrice. Did they do that on purpose? Did Scarlet Spider Comics make it so you could buy it on thrice? I think they worked with Zemo on this. Buy it not once, buy it not twice, but buy it thrice. The Grave Digger Grab Bag, you can do that. And also, even better than that, if you can do this, do this. This Friday, coming up at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Twitch, as part of my normal Addicted to Marvel Strike Force stream, we're going to co-stream with Scarlet Spider Comics. They're going to be doing a big um, Grave Digger auction. So there's going to be a lot of really cool comics. There's going to be the first appearance of Spider Gwen. The auction's going to start at $1. So many of their auctions start at very low price, so it's very easy to get very cool comics. At a low price, you'll have the $15 credit. We want to make sure everybody uses that credit because until you use the credit, it doesn't actually help the channel at all. So make sure you get the credit. Use the link down below. And then make sure you use the credit either um, using uh, the link and 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 just buying uh, Grave Digger grab bags. Let's sell all 50 of those. Let's get those comics out to you. Grave Diggers. Um, you're going to love what Scarlet Spider Comics is going to pick out for you. Uh, do that and then come join us if you can this Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Twitch. And don't worry if you're interested in the auction and all the cool stuff they do. If you want to see it before you go do one, I'm going to put that on the channel Monday as well. Okay, that's enough of that. But I really wanted to get that out there because they're that's so cool what Scarlet Spider Comics is doing. They're such uh, great people. Thank you so much again to them for sponsoring this video. Okay, I have all the new kits here for all the new characters. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to read these, you know, verbatim, but I am going to 
Um, I am going to kind of give you the overview as we go through. I'm going to give you my thoughts on this. This is the first time I'm looking at a lot of this. Um, I, I've had a little bit of access to them on the test server. I haven't actually play tested them yet. This is all early stuff. This is all subject to change. You know how the deal goes. Um, all that good stuff. Uh, this is early, uh, an early uh, version of the blog notes that I'm looking at here. The full blog is going to come out Friday. We're going to cover it again Monday. I'm just going to keep talking about these guys until I'm blue in the face. All right, here's the main thing about this team, though. It's the traits. It's right down there. This is what you get. This is the big deal. This is so cool. So this is a Cosmic Crucible team, okay? It's a Cosmic Crucible, either defense or offense. Um, but the tags are so good. City Tech. It's City Tech. Green Goblin's a legendary. City, it's a tech legendary. Take Green Goblin to Dark Dimension 6, boys. That's what we're all doing. Green Goblin to the legendary section. If you haven't already done, I've been waiting on it. I've been, I've been kind of telling you, hey, I'm not really, I'm waiting on that new legendary. If he's a tech character, I'm certainly going to be happy. He's a tech character and I'm happy. And there's more tech characters too. Oh man, God, I wish I could show you these characters. I am so disappointed right now that I cannot show you how amazing these characters look. Video coming soon, guys. That's all I can say. Like and subscribe. Jesus. I told him, man. I told him this was going to... I like just showing you the blog. Oh, all right. Let's go read the kits in the most boring way possible. Uh, what am I going to say here? All right. Uh, you can awaken Green Goblin. I don't even know if that matters, though, to regular people. Like, I'm still... I don't have an awakened Nova, and it's been how long? How long has it been? And I still don't have an Awakened Nova. Guys, I'm getting upset. The more I talk about this, the more... I want to show you how cool the team looks. Because if I talk about the team, I'm going to get upset about the team. You know, I'm already getting... All right. Anyways. The basic... Who cares? I don't care. I don't care. I honestly don't care. The special... It, this team's going to destroy... This team is going to destroy people, is what it's going to do. It's going to kill everything in Cosmic Crucible, is what it's going to do. Who cares what the kid is? It doesn't matter. I mean, look, you're you're reading it. You've already muted me and you're reading this, or, or you've watched Mobile Gamer and he's read it to you. I don't know. This whole thing is so silly. I can't even keep up the pretense that what we're doing here is, is actually important. All right. Uh, the ultimate for for Green Goblin, he clears barrier on all enemies and just kills them all. Like, what do you want? What do you want? In Crucible, it does more. Outside of Crucible, who even cares what the team does outside? I'm sure, I am sure it'll be a good war team as well. What do you want from me? All right. Um, his passive, he gains some charge. And when he has charge, he does more things. And he gives more health to the team. It's, it's Green Goblin. It's Green Goblin on the Goblin Glider. glider. It doesn't matter. This team looks so cool. The coolest part of this team is how it looks, and I can't show that to you. So, what do you want from me? Um, God, I'm just having a, I'm having a time getting through this. All right, Lizard is the next one. Lizard's the next one, and his tags are great too. City Bio. We got a City Bio character. This is going to change up my Dark Dimension 6 advice because... Now it's like, I don't know, forget about Captain America. I Forget about um, uh, Photon? Forget about Photon. She's bio. Who cares? I wouldn't do any other city bio characters. I, if you were thinking, uh, She-Hulk? Forget about it. Lizard. Lizard's awesome. It's Lizard. Oh, my God. It's the coolest thing ever. I mean, it's such a cool team. I, I'm not even a big Sinister Six fan. Like, I'm not even that guy, but this team looks so cool. It kind of, like, gets me into the Sinister Six. And I'm not shilling right now, guys. I'm honestly, this team is dope. And I'm not, I'm not even on the best character yet. There's a character here that's so awesome. You, I'm going to read it, and you're going to be like, well, who cares? When you see it, that's when you'll know how awesome it is. So upset I can't just show it. All right, um, the basic... It does piercing damage. Oh, let me talk about Isotope 8 because that's probably a good thing I can talk about. For Goblin, all of his attacks um, are unblockable, right? 
And that says Raider to me. Like the only reason, the big reason that I go with Striker over Raider is when uh, th there's a possibility that your attack could be blocked. But if all the attacks are area attacks and they're all unblockable, that kind of says uh, that's a good Raider to me because that means they can crit. If they run, if they get blocked, they can't crit, and that screws up the Raider damage. And then it's better to have uh, Striker. But Green Goblin, I know you might just want to make Green Goblin a striker as well, but I don't know. You could also go with, um, you can also go with Raider, uh, which might be might might be really nice. All right, Lizard, we're seeing a lot of piercing damage, right? I see piercing damage on his basic. I, I but the problem is is like I want to make Lizard a striker, but he has this ability block on his special. And whenever I see an ability block, I'm like, I, I got to go with, with skirmisher. However, it only applies ability block. If it's a spider verse hero or support. Why, why is the ability block so particular about how it works? That kind of sucks. I don't like that. Um, I, I don't know. Maybe maybe he would be a better striker just for like his safety attack. Cause his basic here it does do piercing damage. Which I don't know, just usually says striker to me for some reason. And I the way I was thinking about it, I only had like one striker on the team, which is um which is coming up. We haven't even got to him yet. But maybe I'll make Lizard a striker, or maybe I'll make them a skirmisher. I don't really know, but that's kind of what I'm toying with. These are my initial thoughts. I'm trying to leave the kit on the screen so you can read it. I don't want to sit here and read the kit. Do you want me to read the kit to you? Are you like a small child that can't read? I don't know. Yeah, I guess some people listen to it at work and they just want me to read it off. But like, it's, it's so, it's like, I, I, I think, I don't know. It would just go over my head. If I was to listen to someone go on spawn, apply plus three def deflect to self and sinister six allies, gain plus five death proof. Plus the, the video would be like an hour long of gibberish. I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't make any sense to me. Um, anyways, Spider Slayer. This is the one. This is the one. I'm going to read this one. This is what I'm going to read. I'm going to do some reading to you on this one. Driven by his hatred for Spider-Man, J. Jonah Jameson enlisted the help of Dr. Spencer Smith to create a Spider Slayer robot. Are you hearing the words that I'm saying? How amazing. And he looks even cooler than he sounds, guys. It is an amazing look. Um, it's so cool. So it's J. Jonah Jameson in a killer robot. And it is the coolest character in the game. And if you want to know a really cool story about this character, tune in Friday I've got a video with Mobile Gamer and Valley Flying, and I tell a cool story about Spider Slayer. I'm just, I'm not going to tell it again here. I'm going to make you wait till Friday because technically the story is under embargo. Can you, can you believe this? Do you believe how much of the cool stuff that I want to tell you is under embargo? All the cool shit I want to say about this team is lit. I, they can't, they told me you can't fucking say it, Mr. Hartgrave. You can't fucking say it. All right, I'm full fucking crack now. I'm full fucking crack now. I'm doing a fucking video where I just read kits to you and I'm losing my fucking mind because I want to tell you how fucking cool this team is and I'm fucking handcuffed and I got to sit here with a fucking text file. This is, this is fucking absurd. It's like, it's like, I don't get the fucking point of it. I'm, I've lost the script. Anyways, the, 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 the tags on Spider Slayer are fucking phenomenal because it's city and tech and that's great. I just realized that Scarlet Spider Comics is sponsoring this video so I can curse as much as I want. I started off thinking, hey, I shouldn't curse that much in this video. And then I was like, fuck it. What the fuck does it matter? Scarlet Spider Comics is dope as shit. Have you used the link down there to get yourself some free comic books? I'm literally at this point, I've checked out on this. And I just want you to go get some free comic books is what I want you to do um, because your life sucks. You play Marvel Strike Force and your life is the drizzling shits and you might as well get yourself some fucking literature so you can read that on the toilet instead of play this fucking game. Anyways, um, 
he does some piercing. This is your, it's, it's, he's a fucking blaster, so he's a striker. It's that goddamn simple, guys. People like to make these isotope 8 classes out to be some kind of fucking rocket science. Every single fucking blaster is a striker. Prove me wrong. Every single fucking blaster in Marvel Strike Force, you make them a striker. Blaster, striker, same thing. So this is a blaster, so he's a striker. All of his shit does piercing damage, and he just melts faces and kills Spider-Mans, okay? It's fucking awesome. It's my, it's, I'm, this is my favorite character in the whole game and I just want to show him to you and then you would understand and you would be like that's my favorite character too and now I'm hype except all I have to show you is a fucking text file and I'm kind of pissed about it but uh, anyways his ultimate applies offense up to everybody and that's fucking great and it does some fucking piercing damage and drain and shit god damn he's so fucking cool I mean he's really fucking cool I mean, he's just a fun goddamn character and like he, he does stuff to all villain allies. Like I want to team this guy up with Ultron and make a killer fucking robot team of like fucking nemesis and fucking spider killer and Ultron and fucking just destroy shit and blah, 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 fucking theory crap. That crap It's a fucking Ultron crazy deranged fucking robot spider slayer fucking team. That sounds cool as hell. It's exactly what I want to do. I'm finding my own fun in this video. You know, I'm, I gotta make my own fun because the video itself sucks, but we're having fun. And, and and they can this team can clear vulnerable and prevent vulnerable, which is really cool. Like Green Goblin can prevent vulnerable and Spider Slayer can clear all vulnerable so they can get rid of your vulnerables. That's gonna be a pain in the ass when they put this team on player versus enemy mode. This team's gonna push your shit directly up. It's gonna suck. All kinds of hairy balls. All right. Which is, this, this, you know, some people enjoy that and that's okay. I want to point out that I'm not against sucking hairy balls while I say that. Like if I ever say something like that, I never want to make it sound like a bad thing necessarily because it could be nice. I don't know. I've never done it, but maybe I'd enjoy it. All right. Craven the Hunter. The fuck am I saying? <laughs> Craven the Hunter has a movie coming out. So now he's in Marvel Strike Force, everybody. No shit. And his tags are great, too. He's City Skill. So what? So fuck Ronin, okay? Ronin, shit canned out. I regret ever taking Ronin to tier 18. Ronin can straight fuck off. It's the Cra Craven the fucking Hunter party now because I wanted my Cosmic Crucible team to... I don't know why. I don't even know why. Oh, because they're going to put fucking diamonds in Cosmic Crucible. Did you miss that part? I missed that part. When I recorded my diamonds video, I forgot to point out. They're putting fucking diamonds in Cosmic Crucible, boys. So, like, get fucking good or get fucking wrecked at Cosmic Crucible. Uh, yeah, build this fucking team to the goddamn moon. Because now Cosmic Crucible might be actually important again. Who the fuck knows? Uh, anyways, this guy does all kinds of damage and shit. He's the one who does a, a ability block. Okay, it's Craven that has the ability block. I'm going with Skirmisher on him. Lizard does a bunch of bleeds, and I like my bleeds to stick, but I also like my bleeds to do damage. I think I'm going to make Lizard a striker, and I'm going to make Craven the uh, Skirmisher because he flips immunity, applies ability block, and if you can't apply ability block, you're fucked. And, oh, in Cosmic Crucible, he applies ability block to all controller enemies and hits everybody. He's like an extra badass, which is fucking awesome. Now, don't get don't get confused by the extra crit chance here. Don't make this guy a raider. Don't be a dipshit. That would be a dipshit dumb fuck move. You want to make him a skirmisher because you want the ability block to land. Because if the ability block doesn't fucking land, then you are fucked, son. It is over. This character's done. You can just shit can him at that point. It doesn't fucking matter. Um, his passive does shit. He, he throws safeguard on everybody because fuck you. This team's going to fucking laugh at you on defense. The only way to beat this team on defense, from what I gather, is to use it against itself. So, like, either build your superior six to insane levels or get fucked in Cosmic Crucible. Basically... Get fucked, build this team, or suffer is is what I'm telling you right now. That's the take home on this team. If you're wondering, hmm, should I build this team or should I skip this team? 
Build this fucking team if you're going to keep playing Marvel Strike Force. God help you. And then they got Dr. Octopus. And, uh, yeah. He gets a, uh, rework of some kind, I guess. I don't know. Not, not really. I mean, I guess, I guess when this character or chargeable Sinister Six ally, which would be Green Goblin, uh, drops below, uh, 20% health, he would get his speed bar increased by hundred percent. So, I mean, Dr. Octopus isn't a horrible character. This rework isn't phenomenal. I'm still taking him in to Dark Dimension 6, though. Like, I'd still say take Dr. Octopus and Green Goblin into the non, um, non-Horseman legendary section. These are two great tech characters. I would bring them in there. That's what I'm doing. I'm still going to suggest it, even though the Dr. Octopus rework isn't shit at all and nobody gives a fuck about it. Speaking of reworks that nobody gives a fuck about, um, five, four, five members of the Sinister Six get reworks as well. So Electro gets a rework. And I, I, I don't know. I don't know if this matters. I, I don't know if I give a shit. I, I don't think any of this makes me want to build them. I don't, I don't, I, you, what this does. All right. These Sinister Six characters getting reworks means that new players build Sinister Six. I'm going to tell new players to build Sinister Six because now they're all good. They're all getting stat increases. They've all become good characters and will kick ass for new players. That's great. Um, I'm always happy to see reworks on old characters and and they're getting kind of like a decent, a decent rework, but it looks like it's kind of war focused, which is unfortunate because new players don't need to play war, but new players do need good villain characters. And here's a bunch of them. Plus they got good tags so if you want to take any of these guys into um, into Dark Dimension 6, they're viable. They're absolutely viable. They're all city. I'd rather take the new characters than the old characters. I'm not going to read through this shit, guys. I'm fucking tired. Um, no, Nobody really fucking cares about this shit, do you? Like, seriously? give a shit like about some mediocre reworks to some like D tier characters. Like I, I, I don't know. I don't think any of these reworks are going to make them amazing. Now, the only thing to know about this is shit. I can't tell you. Yeah. I can't tell you about this. Actually. I can't actually dig deeper into this, you know, subject to change because of, uh, shit reasons. Okay reasons. What, what could I say? Um, oh, I can say this. All right. No, I, I worked it out. I worked it out in my mind. Okay. Um, maybe if there is a game mode that gives the team call outs, right? Maybe like if there's a cosmic crucible room, just for instance, just speculating, I don't know anything subject to change allegedly, but let's say there was a cosmic crucible room or something that had call outs to Sinister Six, well, maybe you could justify building them for that, kind of like how we did for um, Uncanny X-Men. Maybe they'll be Uncanny X-Men kind of good, which isn't good at all, but kind of good for Cosmic Crucible or a game mode like that because I want to be a little more vague than just saying Cosmic Crucible. How's that sound? Um, f- fucking come at me, bro. All right, anyways, and Shocker gets uh, a rework and Dr. Octopus still calls Shocker as the summon. So I guess Shocker getting a rework will apply to the Shocker summon. So that's good. Um, this one kind of matters. Shocker will be summoned for the Superior Six. He will not get the Superior Six tag, but he will apply assist now to the highest damage Sinister Six ally, which might be uh, Spider Killer, which is kind of fun. And then... Um, He'll uh, uh, generate one ability energy for all Sinister Six allies and the Superior Six counts as a Sinister Six, I believe. So everybody gets offense up as well still, which is good. 
And, um, and oh, this is actually kind of interesting. Oh, okay. All right. Here's a fucking good one. Shocker. Now his ultimate, um, will reduce the speed bar for 20% for all targets. Holy shit. Okay. Here is, they kind of hid the rework on Dr. Octopus. The best part of the rework on Dr. Octopus actually applies to shocker who now on his ultimate, he has to survive a turn, but he will actually reduce the speed bar by 20% for all targets. So that's kind of fucking dope. I like that. And now when he spawns, he applies offense up for two turns. Uh, nice. He doesn't even have to use his fucking special to give offense up. That's interesting. And then on war on spawn, he fills sp a speed bar for 75% uh, for a Sinister Six Protector, which I guess is like Rhino? Cool. All right. Yeah, Shocker actually gets an interesting rework, and I assume that that will apply to the summon on Dr. Octopus, or it won't, and that'll suck, but maybe it will. And then we got Vulture, um, who is still like, Vulture's kind of a good character anyways. Like, he's, he's kind of good. And now he's getting like um, a, a thousand extra focus for his special, which will now clear two positive effects from each target and apply offense down and slow, which is kind of nice. Um, so that's kind of cool. All right. There, there's a, a kind of a decent, okay, rework on, on Vulture. These, these, are, these are interesting. I, I don't know what they're going to mean for the game. It's probably not going to mean a whole lot, but, uh, but there it is. There's all the kits. I hope I went through those slow enough. So if you want to read the details, you can. Let me know what you think about them. If you did, let me know if I fucked this video up. I don't I don't know what I'm doing. It's the Sinister 10 reveal. And uh, Scarlet Spider Comics, they sponsored this video. And I, I want you to go get your free $15 credit. And I want you to use it as well. So use the links down below. Get the credit. Use the credit. Sell. I want those grab bags to sell out. Get all 50 of them and then come join me live this Friday on Twitch at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to be doing a great auction with Scarlet Spider Comics. And when I'm talking auction, I mean the comics go for five bucks a piece. They're super cheap. You got the $15 credit. I want you to use it. So that's why we're talking about it. And grave diggers, keep digging. <laughs>